In this video, I'm going to talk about adding exponents. My name is David Longstreet, and my website is mybooksucks.com. So let's imagine you have to multiply x squared times x to the fourth power. Just in case you don't know, that little dot means multiplication. These little x's, that x and that x, they're called base. The 2 and 4 are called exponents. Whenever you see a number like 2, it's really 2 to the first power, or 3, it's 3 to the first power. So if you take 2 plus 3, it's actually equal to 5 to the first power. Typically, people don't include the exponents. It's written like this instead. A little bit more background here. For example, you have 2 to the first power times 2 to the first power like that, that equals 4 to the first power. So it's written like that. Put the 1 in there. Where's the 1? There it is. This is how it's typically written, though, is 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Now I'm going to rewrite it. 2 to the first power times 2 to the first power is equal to 2 to the second power, like that. And of course, that equals 4, or 4 to the first power. I'm having trouble with that 1. Now what you really did was, you took 1, the exponent, 1, that green 1, and you add it to that other 1, the other exponent, so it's 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. 2, that should be 2 right there, and that 2 is that 2. So the reason multiplication works is, all you're doing is adding exponents, okay? So let's go back to our original problem at hand x squared times x to the fourth. So I want to multiply these together. I'm going to add the exponents, or 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. So it's going to be equal to x to the sixth power, like that. So all you have done is added 2 plus 4 is 6. Keep in mind that the bases have to be the same for this to work. So x, x, and x or the base, and it's all the same. Now I'm going to show you a little uh, math trick here. Get rid of that 6. There you go. So now we have x squared is the same as x to the first times x to the first, because 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. And x to the fourth is the same as x to the first times x to the first times x to the first times x to the first four times. It's so I added 1, 2, 3, 4, which is the same as that 4. Now, if we add all these up, it'll be x to the sixth power, hopefully. It should come in there right about now, and voila, there you go. And that's adding exponents explained. Again, my name is David Longstreet. Check out my website, mybooksucks.com.